Hey everyone, Zoraz here from Not Casuals, and today I'm bringing you another quick video about the new content in patch 1.2 for Dragon Spine. Now, you might or might not have found this yet, but if you see in front of me, there is a door that is closed, of course, and if I come here, it is asking me for different items in order to open it. So it's different boxes, scribes, priest, and princess box. Now, these are basically secrets that you have to find around Dragon Spine in order to unlock this door and get some amazing rewards. So in this video, I will show you exactly where to find all of these and as well what you're going to get once you open this door. So first things first, people might be wondering where is this door. So as you can see here on the map, this is where I am. So there is a waypoint here. Now the waypoint is underneath me right now. It is not where the door is at all, though you can take the waypoint and basically climb the mountain on the side. So if I show you right here, you will see that down here is where the waypoint is literally down here under me so you can climb all the way up here on the side here and then you can get up here or otherwise you can also go from the inside of the cave which is right here the star glow cavern we are used to that place by now it is basically the main area of this zone and you can see i'm all the way at the top so you just have to climb all the way and you come here and it is where the gate is going to be located so as far as the location of the three boxes, I will show them to you on the map right now and then I will go in person and show them to you as I discover them myself because I am still missing two of them. So the first one is right here. So basically right at the entrance, it is in that little island right there. Now the second one is right here. This is also on top of a tower and there is going to be a chest and you open it and you will find the box in it. And the last one is down here, so basically on the left side of this teleport waypoint. You're going to have to do a small event here, and you will find the last box there. So as I said, the first box is going to be in this area on the minimap, and it is basically this little island. So let's take a look at exactly what we have to do here in order to unlock this thing. Now there is a sword here that you have to touch, and then basically you have to fight these abyss mages, of course. So the pretty standard kind of stuff where we'll kill these abyss mages really quickly and then get right into getting our rewards. Now there is three abyss mages and they are quite hard if you don't have the correct proper teams. So I would suggest bringing at least a fire character and most likely a uh, ice character to break the water guy or at least electricity to help you with that. As you can see, I can deal with them pretty easily if I'm using the correct element. Uh, but of course, you can also try and maybe get some friends if you need some help, as these are going to be pretty hard guys to take into one minute. It is definitely not uh, super easy. Now you see that once I'm done, the Lucretius just spawns, I open it, and boom, we will get our princess box. So that is one of the boxes done. So for the second box, as I said, on the minimap right here, you will get to this path, and you will see that there's a little tower here, and you can see these little wind sprites. So that is the secret. You just got to collect all of these wind sprites. And the last one is down here. And then you just go up. And right here on top of this tower will be a luxurious chest. Now I have already collected it. And inside of that luxurious chest, you will find the second box that you need to unlock the secret door. Now as for the last box, you will come right here. This teleporter that is right there. You will be just right up top this hill and if you go down here you will find that there is a gravestone that you just have to simply talk to and place some flowers on top of uh, right here place flowers then you obviously need to have these flowers cecilia you need three of them and then once you've done so boom here we go here is a chest for us and what is that well that is the last box that we needed to open our secret door so now let's go back up to our secret door. Now I use the method of teleporting down here and climbing the mountain myself, but you can get there many other ways, as I said at the beginning of the video. So when you get there, we will see what we get. And here we are at the secret door. Now you come right into here and you confirm, of course, so you will get the door opening, which is great. Now, I have not seen this myself. I have been told that you get a lot of great rewards, of course. It's basically chest. So let's open this. A luxurious chest with a lot of great gear. You get some achievements as well on top of it. And one more chest here. And lastly, we have these um, strange monument thing. Now, this is another secret that is part of the Dragon Spine area. Now, if you open all of these, this is how you unlock the Claymore weapon, the new weapon. So I am going to be having another video about that specifically coming out shortly during the day as well. So if you are interested in unlocking the Claymore and want to know what to do with these, make sure to stay tuned to our channel because that content is going to be available on our channel shortly. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoy Dragon Spine as much as we do. And I hope to see you guys on our next video or live streams in the future.